Okay, welcome to part 5 of the Fire Emblem Let's Play. Okay, now we're in story mode right now. We're in chapter... This guy's an air hole. Douchebag. <laughs> what a mess. Our oh, dork is more like it. Hmm? <sighs> Here's the land and the team. We are in Catholic. Going south will pass into Kaelin. That's more than likely gonna happen, Sam. We're gonna run into people. What in the world? Who's this kid with this light teal blue hair? And strange red colored eyes. That's not normal. Then again, in this whole game, this whole game, there, uh, there's no such thing as normal. Uh, uh, okay. Ninian? Oh, his sister's in trouble. Sane? We must help! Nonsense, we haven't- can't stow it sometimes. You know, I'm not surprised that Kent is like Leonardo, always following the rules and all. Sane is always like Michelangelo. Alright. So now we're gonna take on our first challenge against the bad guys that are gonna show up later on in the game. Yes, I'm gonna have to tactically play this carefully. <gasps> Who's this dude? Know your place, jerk. Huh? This guy's an idiot. He doesn't know he's gonna die anyway. And now we're introduced to the preparation screen. I think I only show it off in this one and then I don't show it off as much later on. Here we go. Who are we picking today? I'm gonna have to take Urk out and replace him with Matthew. Okay. However, the ones that aren't gonna be here transfer stuff over. Since we don't have much items, we can just trade people around for now. Just put all the people that move pretty far in the back. It'd be easier that way for your front lower speed types to catch up. Okay, and I think s select opens the map. And now we're gonna begin. There's more options we're gonna work on later. A shaman! Ooh! Dark magic! And we only have anima magic, which is stronger, which is weaker to dark. 
Hmm? A monk? Are you an elimine... Elimine... Bishop? Yes? Uh, and well, no. Oh, a monk. Nice to meet you. Lucius. Uh, don't mind me in saying this, but Lucius looked like a chick when I first saw his design. And look up a picture of Lucius, you'll see what I mean. But it, it, Lucius is actually a dude, I'm not gonna lie. Please lend your services to us, Lucius. Alright, he uses magic l level, uh, magic of light. Following the trendy of magic, Anima, the magic our mage Urk can use, is strong against light but weak to dark. Light can tame the dark but is weak to Anima, so on and so forth as the trinity speaks of. Now, um, since we gotta start with Lucius, I'll introduce Lucius. He is a monk. Growth rate is average HP but his attack is incredibly high. Skill and speed is A ranking, but his defense is C ranking. Resistance, S rank. Meaning he can beat up any magic user, but don't let him get into melee type fights. Uh. He uses light magic, but when you give him a item thingy, he can turn into a bishop. Kind of like how Sarah can turn into a bishop. A monk is the male side of the bishop preliminary form. Cleric is the female version. But what the monk gets is high critical rates using his magic. Hello Nils. Okay, so what else does Lucius... Uh, Nils is a bard. He can't change classes but he can play next to your characters and allow you guys to go again. So a character can go again after Nils has played a song. Growth rate uh, growth rate is A ranking in HP, attack is a C, skill is a C, he can't attack anyway so that wouldn't matter. His speed is an S, defense is pretty good, resistance and luck is pretty S rank and S rank. Even though he doesn't attack, he can dodge pretty much. Okay. Bishops on Lucius side when he changes classes allows him to use staves. HP increase of 3, attack increase by 2, skill plus 1, nothing in speed, defense plus 3, resistance plus 2, 1 and 1 for move and constitution. We are introduced to vendors here. These are the magic shops and they sell vulnerabilities and magic items like heal and fire. In the armory, they sell weapons like the swords, lances, axes, and bows. Let us carry on and see what happens. <laughs> Lucius is a monk. He appears in chapter 7 of Lin's story, but in later storylines, chapter 16 in the red zone, or the red character's uh, story, Chapter 17 in the blue character story. Lucius has a low defense even for a magic user, and his luck isn't much to write home about either. However, like all magic users, he can become extremely powerful in time. And since you get him in Lin's story, you can give him an extra boost ahead of time. Lin's story is like a prologue type story before you get into the other two Lord's stories. Oh yes. So let's see. Since it's Lin's characters that we're meeting, Nils has an unknown area that he comes from, along with his sister Ninian. Sane and Kent are from Kaelin. Will is actually from the land called Foray. Which is in Lycia, around the border to Bern. Dorcas is from Bern. In the Sakai Plains, it's Lynn and Wrath so far. 
while the area known as Ilia, Florina resides from there. Sarah and Matthew come from an area known as Ostia, which we'll get into later. And Erk comes from another area called Etruria. That is the whole map of the continent. Uh, I forgot what this continent is called. But, oh well. Over time, you're gonna meet tough foes. And let, and let me tell you, these guys can be really, really rough on the edges. They can really kick your butt if you're not careful. So, I'm gonna attack. Okay, I'll place someone here. What am I doing here? <sighs> oh, okay. There are three lords in, all together in the whole game. And the other, in the third lord's story, if you get uh, Nils into a level 7 before Lin's story ends, it, uh, it helps unlock a side chapter later on. And the blue, blue lord's story. like we got a runner. Now all I need to do is get Florina to attack this chump. I'll move that way and get the pure water from the town. Pure water allows you to increase your resistance for a little bit. For a little bit. Aw, so close. But magic users have like a fixed ratio in earning experience points through uh, uh, their staves. And that can be annoying sometimes. Once you figure out how to use the staves, uh, you'll, you'll see how much it is. Oh, uh, and right now I'm fixing my animations because I'm, I'm actually done showing off uh, what's her name's uh, animation. Sarah. Oh. By doing this, I'm playing it like on the console version of the game's Fire Emblem. Where there's no cutscene for uh, the magic users that heal, but there is one for like everyone else. Ow. So your chapter goal here is to defeat Mr. Ketchup. Yeah, his name's Heinz, but eh, oh well. I put Thorcus in a forest. I would have thought that was gonna miss. Growth rate is pretty good on thieves. I forgot to, to mention. If they defeat a certain character, they level up as if they defeated a boss. Oh good, her thing went up. I don't know much about magic. Okay, what I don't get is why Peg Knights can take magic better than a lot of the other types. I don't get it. But here we get the pure water, which is like a 
holy thing that increases your resistance to magic. Now, if you guys want to level up Sarah, you're going to want to level her up as much as possible here. And get as much use as you can out of her. Because later on, you're n there's going to be another healer, but she's going to be on a horse. See what I mean? That Lucius is pretty tough against other magic users. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys to avoid the shamans. I'm gonna tell you this right now, they're not that tough. With Lucius, uh, everything fighting against shamans is actually easy. However, you want to make this fight as easy as possible, so send Lucius in as much as possible. I forgot what Dorcas took damage from. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna try to lure that poor, pathetic shaman and get him to attack Lucius. Okay, gotta think. Now we're gonna put Lucius in a forest or something. That should work. Yep, indeed. Oh, and I forgot, one brigand has a uh, lance, an iron lance. Take him out and you can get an uh, extra lance for yourself. Magic, triangle, bard storming. Yeah. A bridge too far. on the west, but there's no point in going there if I'm going the right way. Who's this guy? Let's put Sarah in. There's a different reaction though, with some of the characters. Who is this mysterious blue character? straight up tell you this is Hector Hector of Ostia he's the third lord in the whole story Eliwood that he speaks of is the other one he's the second one you're gonna play as or until you beat Eliwood's story you can't access Hector's story Hector uh, is kinda rough on the edges when it comes to fighting but we can't use him until his story. Right now, he's here on a monthly bout, challenging his fighting skills against his friend Elliewood. Good. Okay. So we're gonna take. So Ostia is gonna be helping. Let's see if we're going to be delayed a little bit. Hector... 
What impudence. Dang you, Matthew. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Oh man, I'm tired. Okay, so... If I can get in the forest, this'll work. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. Not really. Lynn's story is actually pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Now, you don't have to move everyone. Well, I should get this out of the way. You don't have to move everyone, you know. Sometimes you can just, uh... Sometimes you can just go like so press A on a non character type thing on the map and you can just go like ah and turn. And it would count. Lucius leveled up. Since Lucius is our monk, he's the only one that can take on the boss. Ah, now we take and face Mr. Ketchup, Heinz. Playing heroes of some foolish nightly romance. You may think you're helping the children, but you're only rushing to your doom. Take that, Ketchup Face! Lucius! Now, you can send Sarah in. This boss doesn't move like some of the other ones later on you'll run into. Actually, almost all the bosses you fight in Lin's story, they don't move, so this will be good for you. Ow, my head. And now I'm trying to just get Nils around here, so if the guy tries to like keep healing himself, I can just have Nils play right behind Lucius and attack one last time. Oh boy, he got Lucius. Come on. Ah, uh, he never mind. There was no need for Nils to come and help. Lucius can finish this himself. And then he finishes it with a critical type magic attack. You were only striking at air? Oh no, they took the girl. Now we have to give chase and rescue the poor boy's sister. First, Lucius levels up. Alright! What great ill news for our heroes. Ninian! Ninian! Uh, we have to find her. Where could she be? Kent has brought us a report. Oh no, they're writing south. They have her. We must give chase. What in the world? Who are you? Oh look! There she is! Who's this young man? Okay, the character with the red hair over there, he looks like Roy from Super Smash Brothers, but he's not. This young guy is called Elliewood of Foray. His father is the Marquis of Foray. He's the son. 
Surprisingly, this is Roy's father, so this story takes place before Roy's game. Which is Fire Emblem 6, Fuen no Sorugi. Ellie Wood saved her life, and so made it easier on us. And then Lynn tells the story, and Ellie Wood's... <gasps> oh! Long story, made short. No, I believe you. Aww, only Elliewood would say something like that. <laughs> oh wow, uh, Elliewood's knowledgeable. I'm not gonna lie, I really like Lin, and uh, on the Game Boy cartridge and another file I have um, on a different card. I had Lin and Elliewood support to the max, and at the end they got married together, and I thought that was cute. I just like that result because it was pretty interesting. Hello. Your name's Ninian, or Ninian, right? Ninian, right? Ah, traveling performers, huh? The brother's a musician. You dance? Sane, later, sit your butt down. Down, boy. A sacred dance? What does that mean, really? Okay, don't stress yourself. We'll carry you around with Nils. <sighs> Special talents? So they have like a sixth cent, they can like sense things ahead of time, so yeah. They can't do anything when it happens. Though since we're a group of fighters, this could be useful for us. I think leaving them here will cause Lady Lindis more worry than having them travel with us. Ignore Sane, you know his answer already. Not Ninus Grace. Ninus's Grace. What is this Ninus's Grace? You know, I don't know how that's pronounced either. I keep pronouncing it Ninis. Ninises. Oh, Ninus. Ninus. That's like no other in the world. Um, oh no, we have to stop those villains. Well, yeah, I know what you're talking to me about. <sighs> hmm, I think I hit a requirement to make a side quest. I don't know the requirement for this one, I think it was automated though. This is like your first one to do tutorially. But there are others you must find that are more difficult.
Not accepting side quests will not affect your ranking. Uh, we'll go on the side quest. Now, if you skip this one, you're going to regret it later on. Because I think if you skip this event later on, uh, you don't get the ring for her when you get her character later on in the game. And she won't have that ring. Without that ring, it won't be... It has a special ability that will allow you to have special defense and high level resistance for like one turn. But you're gonna need that ring. So I suggest you go on to the side quest to Cahathlet and receive this heirloom. Oh, we're fighting an organization known as the Black Fang. Who is this mysterious character? Behold, Nintendo's other character from F-Zero. This chapter is called The Black Shadow. Mm, who are you? The lady on the left is known as Ursula. Uh, you're not gonna fight her now cause she'll mop the floor with all your units. Yeah, she's a second level type attack fighter, so... Yeah, none of your units are strong enough to even get close to cutting her or anything. Maybe except Lim, but other than that, you're gonna get your butt kicked if you fight her now. The guy on the right is known as Bayard. For this side chapter, we'll be fighting him instead. And Bayard has the ring! He's using it for bait. We gotta stop him. But I never heard of this Black Fang organization. Hmm. I'm not gonna spoil plot details, but you fight these guys over and over later on. This is just a pre preliminary attack. Your first time fighting them. Alright, we're finally here, though I don't know what, what this little section of the map is for since we're never in there. So, all I can say is, we're gonna get the ring back. Don't really care, we're just gonna kick them in the butt. Nils, relax. We're getting the ring. But I gotta tell you guys this now. A lot of these guys are tougher than the usual mooks you're gonna fight in Lin's. They're tougher than the regular mooks you fight in Lin's story, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Time to get the ring back. Okay, report scene. Well, crap. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this. Tactically. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, Kent. Don't remind me. Remember, I'm the tactician, not you. I, although, sometimes when the characters engage like this, it's like helpful to look into it if you don't have a guide. You can check online at GameFAQs for stuff, for tactical advantages and stuff. Or watch videos, but sometimes people can watch videos and sometimes they cut out important stuff and then it's like, oh no, I missed out on something and then it's not a good thing because you missed out on something and then it's like, when you put someone there, it ends up getting them killed. So be careful. I don't need Lucius because he's like two levels stronger than Urk. So now we set up everything. However, at the beginning of the chapter, you saw another thief, right? This is a secondary thief. Another thief in this chapter is actually an enemy thief. For you see, there is a treasure chest right there. If they get to it first, it's bye-bye to the item, but we gotta kill the thief as well. I don't know if I even kill him. Okay, Dorcas, you're up next. You're gonna have to exterminate 
every bad guy in this house, in this stronghold. It doesn't take long, it takes about maybe 10 minutes at most, maybe less, because I'm doing story mode as well. reason you leave him with hand axe is to like do damage. There's an archer right there. If you want to speed things up, do as it's told. Let's see. Will will stand right here. Urk will attack you. Oh, that's right. If you switch to solo, you have to reset Urk and any other character that has a full attack advantage like that. The reason I like using oh man I can't get can't anything but the reason I like using um the number two animation is because of the background. It's a nice background. If you choose number one's animation, you just get a little screen and then it's a transparent background of the map. And that's about it. Come on, Dorcas. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit! Oh, my video's acting up again. Thunder magic? More like lightning. Okay, so... Some areas you gotta open the walls, but right here you just gotta... You just gotta open it up. You can steal. That's very kind of him. I don't think I was supposed to steal. I think that was a waste of my time. Let it destroy this. Now what's in the treasure chest is something called the hammer. The hammer is used for only Dorcas. What does it do? Uh, if it's a heavy, uh, if it's a knight, it does a lot of damage to a knight's armor. Uh, some of these enemy cavaliers are annoying. Don't let them get away! Hello. How? This can't be. They should be dead by now. Finished him! I'm gonna do my best to get a move on. It's not really tough when you know what you're doing. At this point, you don't really need a guide. You're like used to this stuff by now. There's nothing new in this chapter. I'm gonna kill the thief and get a lot of XP. Oh, this is chapter 7X. Turns out, to get this little side quest, you were supposed to complete just chapter 7. In 15 or fewer turns, then the side quest can be accessed. Then you can access Chapter 7X. The recommended members you were supposed to bring are what I have. Bard, Archer, Mage, and Thief. It's your choice if you want to bring in others. Other than that, I think you're good. I can't believe you missed! Why couldn't you hit?
can't, you moron! Ow! Sane! Dodge! Turn two, soldiers are uh, uh, coming in reinforcements. Uh, since the third term's coming up, you're gonna uh, a shaman and a mage will appear right next to the boss. Oh no, there they are, the mage and the shaman. Blockade that cavalier. Attack this chump. Okay, now move Florina so she can fight one of these losers right here. I'm gonna pull Sane back. Since I got the hammer, I'm gonna move Matthew around. And then I'm gonna trade off the hammer to Dorcas. Wait. I'm gonna heal Urk first. And then we're gonna proceed with the rest of the chapter. Since I'm in Lin's story, there's not much to worry about, so... Bleh. When we get to Eliwood and Hector's story, then it'll, it'll start... Then you're gonna wanna be careful when you place characters. Oh, that's irritating. Not strong enough to strike him down! Can't please finish him this time. I, you shouldn't have missed last time. Oh, thank god. Now he's a level 6. This will be good. Good his skill went up. Ah, uh, let's see. Enemy mage versus our mage. And Urk dodges! Burn! Burn again! Burn! Burn! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! I'm not doing that reference ever again. See, darkness can take down anima. And it makes it tougher for anima users like Urk to finish this guy off. One more voluntary, and since Dorcas has two, I can probably get this to him. Runa, come on, you gotta do damage. Oh! Okay, lands at level seven, so that doesn't matter. Everyone else has to level up. Good job. Yeah, I really gotta leave that to Florida. Okay, now go heal Urk. Oh, we're healing Sane. Uh, Sarah is a good character. Despite her pink hair and her pigtails. Three enemies left. Objective, defeat every person in the grid. And Florina dodges that time. Incredible! Speed and skill are pretty high, but defense is somewhat decent. Ow. Take it. At this point, it's hard to level up some of your earlier characters like Hint and Sane. Or even Florina. Because at this point, they've gone to be little strong. I'm right there with Florina. So I'm probably going to heal and then we're going to finish off this boss.
Now I gotta heal Urk. That naive fool. Oh, this guy's trying to avoid failing. Okay, since he's not on a throne, he doesn't heal. So this is gonna make it a little easier to do. One concept I wish this game had was the um, shove concept they had in Fire Emblem. Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance. I would have liked it in this game because I think it would have. I, I think I would have benefited from it. Oh, uh, all right. Enough of these shenanigans. I think I have Florina finish the job. No, don't- Oh, why did I send Matthew in? Yarg! Why did I do that? Okay, he levels up, but there was no point to having Matthew level up. Really. I cannot fail. Swear an oath. Leave these two alone. If you vow this, I'll spare your life. But this guy's in a professional thing. He took his life. S or he committed seppuku. He's not an ordinary brigand. He's part of a well-organized group called the Black Fang. But who are they? Ellipses. Everything's gonna be fine, you two. Lin is the only character I think that refers back to your tactician. C out of all the lords, really. I think she's the only one that refers to you the most. See? Compared to the other characters. Ninis's grace. Ninis. Ninis's grace. It's a useful item later on in the game, guys. So, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next part.